Hello, today I have another great recipe for you. This is a bread that I grew up eating back in Mexico, like every day almost, and I ate a lot of tortas, and which is a Mexican sandwich, and many things with this bread, so here we go. One of my favorite things to do growing up when I visited a bakery was to go and look for the basket of fresh bread. Every time I found warm bolillos to buy, I felt like I hit the jackpot. So to start this recipe, put 250 grams of warm water in a bowl and add 150 grams of sourdough starter. Mix with a dough whisk until the sourdough starter dissolves. Add 10 grams of fast acting yeast. If you prefer to continue without adding yeast, you can do so for sure. Just keep in mind that the proofing times will be longer, but you can continue with the same recipe. I did this recipe without adding any yeast, and I also had a good result, but my bolillos were different than the regular bolillo recipe that uses normal yeast. So keep mixing and add the flour little by little. Mix with your hands to incorporate all the ingredients. When your ingredients are well combined, cover with a towel and let sit on the counter for about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, add 25 grams of vegetable shortening and 10 grams of salt. Mix in the bowl to incorporate. And then take the dough out of the bowl and start kneading by hand for about 15 minutes. Or until your dough is no longer sticking to your table and it is soft and elastic. You can poke your dough and if it springs right back up, it will be ready. Place it in a grease bowl and cover it with a plastic wrap. Then let it proof in a warm place. I'm using my dough proofer at 86 degrees until it doubles in size. After 90 minutes, punch your dough and take it out of the bowl. Stretch your dough one last time to help develop more gluten and tension. Then make a ball out of the dough and let it rest for about 10 minutes. Portion your dough. You can divide your dough in eight equal pieces. I like to weigh my dough and get even pieces of about 110 grams. Stretch and fold each piece of dough and roll it into a bowl, making sure to let the tension build as you keep rolling the dough. Cover your dough balls with a towel and let them rest on the counter for 10 minutes. To shape your bolillo rolls, 
stretch the dough and fold one side towards the middle, pressing it down firmly with your fingers. Then fold down the other side and repeat the process. Press the ends of the dough firmly and flip the dough around. Roll the dough pressing down on the ends to make the dough thinner at the edges. Place the roll on a prepared baking sheet and repeat the process with each piece of dough. Cover with a towel and let proof in a warm place for about one hour. After one hour, sprinkle some flour on the Voligio rolls and score with a dull lame, making a single cut in the middle of the roll. Pour a cup of water on a preheated tray at 420 degrees to create some steam in your oven and place the bolillo rolls in the oven. Spray more water on the dough and the hot oven to create more steam. The use of the steam will allow your rolls to have a crunchier crust. After 20 minutes, take your bolillo rolls out of the oven and allow them to cool for 10 minutes before slicing. I hope you enjoy making these rolls and these rolls are very soft but they are also very crunchy in the outside and they are perfect for any sandwich. I'm about to go and make my own sandwich, my torta de jamón, which is a ham sandwich and, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I have a new recipe every week. And I hope to see you next week. Thank you for watching.